So one more time, we're getting ready for a cold spell. It's going to be zero degrees two nights in a row. And um, I think we only get, I think the high is like 20 for most of next week. But the low, after just two nights of zero, will get up to like, I don't know, eight degrees. I don't know. So our shower froze. And um, where is the, it located? The, our shower is right in here, right up above this great big opening. So we're going to take all this down that John so nicely did last night so we can do more work. We're going to remove all of this. We're going to remove this. We're going to take some of our big styrofoam pieces that we removed so the ducks and the geese won't eat it and put it against here with cutouts. And then we're just going to take the zip board. We'll, tie, we'll tape the zip board here, but we'll just lay it up against kind of in a slant um, to protect the styrofoam and keep wind from blowing underneath so that the geese and everybody won't get underneath and no wind will get underneath. So that's my plan here. Even though we're going to be removing the bump out for our addition, we're not going to be able to build the addition for another two weeks since we waited until the kids came for Christmas. But then the temperatures dropped. Yeah. We, we wanted some extra room for when the kids came, we wouldn't be cramped. Because we knew we couldn't get the build done in time. But what do we have to do in these other spots here? What other spots? These, the, uh, well, tell them what you did on that window right there. On the inside and what well, you had to do on the outside. The, the plastic on the inside so that we could still look out and see what's going on with the animals. We closed these windows up again and the windows on the other side. <coughs> and but like you, I said, this is just to get us through this really cold snap because this is coming down. But we're going to put zip board here too, seal it up, tape it off on the top, put some of the styrofoam down underneath here to help block the wind, styrofoam underneath there to help block the wind. I mean, we got tons of it, so we might as well use it. Were you still having any problems with this uh, section here after you put it up? Yeah, they're still sweating. They're, I mean, you know, it's a cold, drafty, not well built. Well, it was well built probably in 1991 when it was made, but after so many years, not so much. So, just try to make it livable so our feet don't freeze off. See, this just hasn't really been working. This is not a solution if you want to stay somewhat warm. So today, fix this. And then I'm going to take a piece of styrofoam, two inch by 27 inches tall by eight feet wide. And I'm going to cut out around here, get that here, and then put the grate back up so the ducks, because if you leave styrofoam out anywhere where the ducks, the geese, or the turkeys can get to it, they get to it. Chickens don't. Turkeys have been flying up onto the roof, getting our styrofoam up there. So put it underneath keep the animals from getting to it and give us a little bit more of a windbreak, especially on the north side. This has never been covered up and John's office is right here. Oh, I did have him cover this so it, the window would quit sweating on his computer. Or near it, yeah. So this, all covered. All covered. Hopefully it will be warmer. Um, it has to be. We're going to do as good a job as we can do in the next four hours. That's what we can hope for. Which will be better than the job we've done now. So stay tuned. We'll show you. So here's the front piece. We had to actually cut it into four different pieces to bridge it. Couldn't get it in there in just one piece. See this goes there. I mean you put one piece of zipboard 
we're going to use these to actually close the bump out. So try not to uh, drill any holes in them. We're just going to just tape them. And uh, so we're going to get this corner and stuff in here taped. And just grab one of the foam blocks from top of the roof there for a base support in here. Having to dig away some of the dirt down below. And we're going to get this a uh, little bit more sealed off here and then this edge right here we'll have to tape a little bit better all the way across. So there you go so far. Okay so we got it to about 70 degrees inside and it's uh, 10 degrees outside. Let's go outside and take a look at what was done. I'm having to do this at night, but sorry about that. So we got this one door covered up over here. We put some uh, this poly material on the other side of the slider. This morning this slider was completely frozen. I'll show you some pictures of that. Uh, put some dirt up along the front here that we used to just cover this front area. Over there, that has helped. I do need to finish taping it over there. Let's go on over the other side so you can see what else was done. <clears throat> so here's the front area that we I got completed. Uh, there's a little bit of a gap there, so I still have some more taping to do. This was zip board that we got completed over here. Did this around the window at that point. Finished doing the zip board here. And then again, put dirt around the edges. <clears throat> that right there. This window up here, still sweating a little bit. Uh, they're both still sweating, but we do need the ability to look out. Got that been pretty good. Got this side sealed up. So the shower stayed uh, non-frozen until we got into the zeros um, under under 10. And it's still uh, the hot side of the shower froze. So we gotta wait a couple days until that um, switches over and gets a little bit warmer. But uh, did do tape <coughs> all along this edge over here. And let's go around to the front. And just went ahead and put the, oh crap, my light went out. Put the bricks around this front board here. So let me go back in. Okay, you're up. <coughs> so we got our place skirted. It's a little bit cooler down here around me, but it's still kind of cold. But we didn't take the zip board on down that way. And we might need to come up with a better solution on this part of the trailer on the north side well all the way around but on the north side before we add on the addition because this is all going out and this will be walking into the addition <coughs> so we're going to do the addition and we've got a seal in here i wish we would have gone on down with the zip board done something more permanent in the very beginning and we had all summer but we dinked around and didn't do it then either but things change so often around here, or I change my mind so often, because I can't... You gotta live through things. You just can't do a whole bunch of stuff, and then come back and redo, or <clears throat> whatever. This is still having condensation on it behind here. We should have gone out today, and I might have John go ahead and go out tonight, and put the foam board in front of the south facing window in our bedroom to help seal that off because it's sweating like crazy these are still sweating but this whole bump out's going to go so that's all i can say goodbye bump out hello wood burning stove bye bye